Go take a little trip It's such a future with me Go take a little dip Go take a little dive Get that energy right We gon' get it together There's the car, the cars The key clarity The cars, the cars The key what you need This is going to be called, How Are People Viewing You Right Now? Now, before I get into this reading, um, I haven't done a pick a card reading in a while, and I'm going to explain why. Um, these readings are extremely draining, okay? Um, and if people aren't giving you, like, an equal give and take, it makes you not want to do it anymore, okay? So, I must see the likes and subscribes in order to keep doing these, or I'm going to just keep doing generals because... These are like literally three readings or more in one. And yeah, it is very, very draining. Um, this is the reason why certain readers, they raise their price to certain things here. Because if you are a bomb ass reader and you only shit, sell your readings for $10, you're going to be drained. Same thing. So if y'all want an equal give and take, if y'all like pick a card readings, I need to see those likes or I'm just going to keep doing generals um, because it is extremely draining. OK, now, with that being said, thank you guys for the likes and subscribes for the ones who have been liking and subscribing and watching my channel. I really appreciate y'all. Um, thank you guys for who've been getting like private readings by me. I really appreciate that. Um, I try to be fair to everyone. I try not to uh, drain myself in the process, too, though. So, yeah, if y'all ain't trying to drain me. Show your girl some love. Anyway, let's get into this a reading. So, pow one, you guys will be 420. Pow two, you guys will be beauty. And pile three, you guys will be the spoiled brat. Choose wisely. And don't choose because you think, don't, don't not choose spoiled brat because you think, nah, I ain't gonna choose it because it might be some good in this pile. All right. So, love y'all. Pick one. Which one is for you? All right, let's get into it. Pile one. So, how are people viewing you at this time? And this is just how they're viewing you. It doesn't mean it's the truth. It could have some truth to it, but it doesn't mean it's the full truth. Um, people are viewing you guys as being very introverted at this time. People are viewing you guys as spending a lot of time alone. And because you spent so much time alone or because you're spending this time alone, you guys are actually thriving. You guys are actually manifesting, okay? I'm getting like, you're spending time alone and these people want to be around you. Or these people want you to put your work out. Or these people just want to connect with you okay these people are obsessing over you they're obsessed with you they love your energy they have very strong obsessive energy so when they talk about you or think about you shit you thinking about them or they literally could drain you here okay so i'm getting like yeah you guys are becoming introverted and people are like low-key obsessing over you this could be one specific person or a few people okay now i'm getting like you guys you guys um are connected to like a, a soulmate here who is somewhat karmic to you now this could be like a specific person that's viewing you this way but i'm getting like this person's low-key obsessed with you i'm also getting people may feel like you're obsessed with um like some type of connection that you're in okay now i also see that people view you as really like i said laid back chill a vibe here some people may view you that you smoke a lot of weed here okay um i'm hearing heavily um sedated <laughs> somebody high as hell people be viewing you as you are high as hell okay somebody here might sell weed um but people view you as really relaxed if you don't smoke weed they view you as a, just a really relaxed person someone who's to themselves you only speak when spoken to okay um and it's not like you're nervous or scared it's just you like your me time okay um but i'm hearing um you don't need no me time. That's you and me time. So somebody feel like you don't need no me time. It's, it's shit. It's you and me time. Fuck. You don't need to be alone. You need to just be with me. I love you. Also, people view you as like a heavy thinker, okay? People may view you as a, a, a manifester here. People also may be scared of what you're thinking about them, okay? They may think that like you're... Um, your thoughts are very powerful here. So if you're thinking negative shit, shit. Some negative shit might happen to them. But I'm getting like, also, people mainly view you as a very positive, happy person, okay? People view you as vibing high. And this is why they want to be around you here. Like I said, you're an introvert, but you're vibing high. You have that fire-ass energy. Um, You stay to yourself. You may smoke weed. You're just really vibe, okay? Somebody here like reggae colors. Somebody 
has dreads here. Um, and I'm looking at a male here, okay? Um, it doesn't really matter though, but people feel like you're a vibe, you just so to yourself, but they need that energy, they want that energy, or this one specific person really wants that energy, all right? Now I'm getting like people view you like people like stare at you or something, or you're gonna catch this person or these people like randomly staring at you, and it's because they are like infatuated with you, or this person is you get this person like really, really good vibes, or these people fire ass vibes they love you they love to be around you they just don't like the fact that you are an introvert or that you're pulling your energy back like i don't see you pulling your energy back for any specific reason probably to recharge yourself is what i'm getting so i'm getting how do people view you people view you as you know how to go within you know how to separate yourself from people and you know how to turn your gaze within and go toward the abundance that you want people feel, feel like um you're on this path alone they might even want to be on this path with you but you're like i uh, know i can manifest by myself i'm good I got it. Yeah, people are viewing you like you're just spending a lot of time alone, but you're still happy. You're happy as hell with your alone time. People view you as going within here. People view you as very knowledgeable is what I'm getting. Also, people view you as sensual, something very sexual, sexual, sexy about you, okay? Not really sexual. Something really sexy about you here. Um, and sensual, people view you as free or you're freeing yourself from people here, okay? From things that are holding you back or not allowing you to be you, okay? So people view you as freeing yourself from them and taking your positive ass energy with you. <laughs> people, yeah, people view you as um, knowing a lot of secrets here or having a lot of secrets here, okay? People also... Whoever this, if this is a specific person, this person feels like you guys have been through a lot of ups and downs, uh, but now you're detaching yourself. And I don't see this as like you're leaving them behind. You're just, you know, on your own path here. Um, these people, they view you as really, really hard worker. Um, and even when you take your days off, you're still tired that you need your break, you need your rest. And they, they recognize this. They still just, I don't think they realize that they hoping to drain your ass too, okay? Um, I'm getting like this person or these people, they really just want to take away the pain from you. So how tired you are, all the stuff that you went through, these people love you, okay? They want to help you. They want to take away the pain. They want to put you up on game. They want to basically um, help you level up, okay? Even though you're doing this all on your own. I feel like for some of y'all, these people want to help you level up even though you're doing it by yourself. And this could make them feel some type of way, okay? I just want to help you better. Wish, uh, wish you would have never gave it to that lane. So yeah, I'm getting like... Somebody in the past hurt you, but these people or this person, they want to uh, make it better, okay? They wish you never gave your love to this person in the past because they feel like they wish they would have got to you first is what I'm getting. They feel like they could have loved you better. And the way that um, this person hurt you, they never would have did that to you. And this person could have took uh, certain parts um about you away and this person feels like maybe they didn't get to experience that with you or they didn't get to experience that with you Um anymore or they don't get to experience that with you anymore it could be this person that did this to you people also feel like you are very very protected here okay um yeah you are being guided um you are shielded here highly protected okay some people may be having bad dreams here or that you had some type of bad dreams um but i'm getting like people view you as highly protected here some people may want to duck they might have did something to you or said something about you also people feel like you know a lot of secrets okay people just feel like you're the hermit right now um you're going within you're connecting with god you're being very spiritual but you just don't really want to connect with people you just you're doing this all by myself don't want to be some people don't want to be by themselves but they're doing it okay because spirit is guiding them okay and but you're highly protected is what i'm getting and um they just want your good ass energy okay but i'm getting like you're getting a recharge here so don't let them drain you um people view you as going after a new beginning okay coming into like a new family a new start here having family wealth um, abundance. So you and your family could be getting some type of money or this is you all on your own. You could be breaking cycles here or starting a new family here, okay? People also view you people view you as you are self-sabotaging for some sort of way. Um, you guys could be married in a committed relationship, but I'm getting like you, people might view you as self-sabotaging. I want to look into this, but they're viewing you with rose-colored glasses, okay? So maybe there's something you did, and they're like, oh, she shouldn't have did that. But, or he shouldn't have did that. But in all actuality, 
you're good or you're good. You could have went on some type of vacation and people could have been like, she, she never did that. But they're looking at the rose colored glasses. Some people are viewing you as a wife here or this is somebody's wife that is viewing you, okay? Clarify um, wife, how are people viewing the power one? Yeah, some of you guys are connected to like a friend or a friend with benefits or somebody here, but they view you as being like a wife or that you're going to be their wife in the future, okay? Also, people are viewing you as really unbothered with other people with drama here, okay? People also view you as, <laughs> they either view you as the tease or you trying to tease them or them trying to tease you. Cut five, seven, one. People view you as having some fire ass sex, okay? Um, or whoever this person is. People just view you as being balanced out. I'm trying to find my deck so I can <laughs> clarify some of these. But I keep pulling the wrong deck. So, yeah, clarify this. <laughs> people, yeah, I'm getting like people are trying to tease you. They're trying to mess with you. They're trying to uh, taunt you. They're trying to knock you off your balance. Because I'm seeing you got balance. Some of you guys may be taking vacations. People may be saying things just to try to trigger you here. But I'm seeing like y'all are still really unbothered. Like you don't give a fuck. Somebody might come up to you and be like, oh yeah, you were on vacation. Well, Brianna said this about you. And usually that would trigger you. But this time you're like, I don't give a fuck. Fuck you and Brianna. Okay, so people view you as being unbothered with their games, with them playing with you. And they also feel like they might need to duck. And that they, need, they may need to uh, protect themselves for trying to fuck with you or for trying to play with you or for trying to trigger you, okay, for some of y'all. Uh, but Spirit is really proud of uh, you guys. I'm getting like, if they did do something to get a reaction out of you, you guys reacted just the right way, okay? Spirit is really, really proud of you guys. I'm getting like these people, they're depressed here. This is why they're doing that or this is why they did that. Yeah, these people, they vibe low and you're vibing high. These people are depressed. They are filled with anxiety, uncertainties, fears, anger. They're very deceptive, uh, jealous as hell. Um, and, and now that you're leveling up, you're taking vacations or you're planning vacations or you're doing whatever you do and you're spending time to yourself, you're not fucking with these people, it's really making them insecure, insecure okay? Um, yeah, it says people may not understand you, but your soul tribe is coming towards you. Yeah, so keep staying balanced. Once you realize what these people are really doing, all you got to do is laugh at them. And you will level the fuck up, okay? You're going to continue to level up. Also, I'm getting like these people are watching your social media. Yeah, it's like they want your energy. They want to be around you. However, they want to trigger you. Fuck them, all right? But that's what I got for you. That is how people are viewing y'all right now. They're viewing y'all as not really fucking with them and still being abundant without their ass, all right? Love y'all. Thank y'all. Hit that like and subscribe button if you want me to do more pick a card readings. Thank you. Bye. Okay, pal, too. How are people viewing you? Now, people are viewing you as taking a break from them, okay? Um, some of you guys may be taking vacations or simply just taking a break away from people. I'm getting that a lot of people are charmed by you. Either people are really crushing on you or they're just like, ah, in awe with you, okay? You guys may resonate with power one. But people are really charmed by you. But I'm getting, just keep it 100 with these people. If they're draining you, if they're doing anything that, um, you know, you don't fuck with or that you don't like, just keep it 100 with these people, okay? Because they really want to connect with you here is what I'm getting. These people, they view you as extremely beautiful, okay? People view you as beautiful. You could be taking vacations or these people find you beautiful and they want to go on vacation with you. You could be planning a vacation with these people. But nonetheless, I'm seeing people find you to be extremely beautiful and they're highly charmed by you, okay? So anything you do, they're going to be like, ah. Oh. Ah, oh, you see, uh, Lele, yeah, she just booked a trip. Yeah, we did. We we really cool. Like, they really love you. She beautiful. She's so cute. Okay, I don't really see um them thinking bad things about you. I, I mainly see them finding you to be very beautiful. And actually, a lot of people actually crushing on you. Okay? Now, I am getting, like, like I said, these people feel like they're viewing you as that you need to keep it 100 with them or they need to keep it 100 with you in some sort of way, okay? How are people viewing my pile, uh, too? Cliff, I just keep it a hundred. Yeah, some people aren't, some people uh, view you extremely beautiful. Uh, some people are coming towards you because they want to have sex with you. Um, I'm getting like they're not keeping it 100, okay? Yeah, I got some people maybe fake supporting you because they really want to, um, Fuck on, fuck on you, okay? Uh, but nonetheless, most people are actually charmed by you. They find you to be extremely beautiful, okay? 
People also uh, find you to be extremely mysterious, okay? You could be into tarot, divination, doesn't have to be. But people view you as chosen for what you're doing. So this really doesn't have to be tarot or anything spiritual. You could braid hair, but you're chosen for that. You're moving with your spirituality is what people are seeing. Now, they're not my sister and think like, oh, you're moving with your spirituality. But they see that you're on your path here. So whatever you're doing, you're chosen to do it. If you write music, that's what you're supposed to be doing. Um, if you write plays, that's what you're supposed to be doing if you are psychic that is what you're supposed to be doing if you got them do reiki it doesn't matter what you do if if you're doing something you're doing uh what you're meant to be doing you're moving within your life purpose and people see this okay also people view you as you really don't trust anybody okay they view you as not trusting anybody like you want to connect with people but you don't fucking trust their ass people also might view you as a little psycho a little crazy okay so you might could snap on motherfuckers um yeah but people they view you as a beautiful little crazy person um but it's because you don't trust people is what i'm getting um and they may be a little bit scared because you are a mystic okay so it says people may not understand you, but your soul tribe is coming towards you. Yeah, I'm getting like the people that are viewing you, they view you as very mystical and beautiful. But some people, they view you as like a little crazy or a psycho. Uh, they may not even trust you here. But it's because they're not a part of your soul tribe. Um, you actually, yeah, I'm seeing that you actually have a really beautiful soul. If they try to say that you're psycho, if they think, okay, this, per this person's a little off their rock rocker. Um, I'm getting that these people are projecting. So whatever quality they're seeing within you, that may be a little crazy or psycho this may be them here i'm getting like uh you have a beautiful soul or deep down on the inside so some of you guys may be this psycho energy here um but this is because people did this to you or something here but i'm getting like you actually deep down on the inside have a beautiful soul okay people some people view you as you repenting here okay yeah people view you as beautiful but some people view you as beautiful but crazy as hell um and that they don't trust you here now some people view you as like repenting here defenseless you may not uh, be able to manifest here people view you as trying to right your past wrongs here okay um and that you're praying here to god or that you're repenting um people view you as maybe what you're trying to manifest isn't like growing the way that you want it to um some of you guys some people view you as you did magic or something yeah now i'm getting like some people view you um see i don't got the time or the patience to do with your shit today so some people view you as um so i'm getting two energies some people view you as that energy like you don't got the time or the patience to deal with people's shit here um you don't trust people um People view you as you've been holding your tongue here and that you're in your feelings about certain things. Um, also, people feel like you've been walked all over in the past um, and that, yeah, you, you're mad as fuck about something, but you're not going to do shit about it. Now, other people are viewing you as this is what they did to you and that they need to pray. And so just flip it. If you're like, I ain't even do your shit. This is how people are viewing you or this is what they did to you and they are viewing you as beautiful and that they shouldn't have did that because you're the beautiful soul. So just take it how it resonates, okay? But I have to see it. I have to read it how I'm seeing it. Some people view you as stuck in the past here, okay? Some people view you as bitter. I'm holding a grudge and refusing to let go. Yeah. Some people view you as, like I said, you had to let go of somebody. Um you wasn't dealing with their shit anymore or they had to let you go because they wasn't dealing with your shit anymore okay uh you could think you right all you want i see through you just like water some people might feel like they see through you just like water or they feel like you see through them okay so for some of y'all i'm getting half and half some of y'all y'all know y'all been praying and repenting and um you know people don't trust you here Others of you, like I said, somebody did something to you. They've been praying and repenting, trying to get your ancestors off their ass. Um, and you don't trust them, okay? But I'm getting like these people that refuse to let you go or they're viewing you as refusing to let go of something. Like, let it go, okay? But people, people are viewing you as very mysterious, uh, very intuitive, okay? People are viewing you as um, manifesting here, an amazing manifester, all right? Also, I'm getting like people are viewing you as... Like I said, very protected here. So I'm getting two stories. Some of you guys are very protected. And your ancestors are on somebody's ass. Or God is on somebody's ass for fucking with you. For doing whatever they did to you. For acting like a psycho to you. When you have a beautiful soul. Or some people are viewing you as they need to protect themselves from you. Because they think that you're crazy. Alright? So I'm saying that. 
people are viewing you as balanced here um or you're getting balanced somebody wants to make some type of offer to you all right somebody wants to make some type of offering to you and these are for the ones who these people did this to you and they know they're wrong and they know they're praying they're trying to right their wrongs okay they know that they did some type of spell work on you and they know that they gossiped about you and tried to make people view you in a fucked up way here um this person they want to come towards you here uh because they want to make a proposal to you they want to right their wrongs here uh they may feel guided by god to do this so yeah just do whatever um but i'm getting like yeah people are viewing you as manifesting you making a, a decision here okay cliff i propose how are people viewing my pile too? People are viewing you like, yeah, they, they, they need to take a spiritual bath. Yeah, people are viewing you as very, very blessed, okay? And that they need to take a spiritual bath, um, fucking with you, trying to mess up whatever you got going on, gossiping, spell work, or literally just trying to drag your name in the mud, okay? I'm getting like you connect with your inner child, you're happy now, or you've been happy. Um, and if some of you guys are the ones who you know you've been doing wrong to somebody or whatever the case, I'm getting like, clarify, um... Yeah, I'm getting like if this is you and you know you did wrong, you may need to uh, get away from people and become an introvert, okay? Because this is going to help you so that you can hear what spirit is trying to tell you so that you can get your little karma real quick. And others of you, like I said, you guys are the ones who people were picking with or doing weird shit too. And you guys, when you guys uh, detach yourself and became an introvert, uh, some of these people could have been heavily in your circle. But whenever you guys detach yourself or... Um, became an introvert this is when these people decided um what decided uh started getting their karma for fucking with you okay like i'm getting these are soulmates of yours but you guys are extremely karmic but i'm hearing they went too far they did too much yeah <laughs> gossipy they went too far they did too much they said too much they just went too fucking far uh they could be mad that you don't want to fuck with them or whatever the case all they want but the moment they start gossiping and they know that they're sending energy your way this is where they fucked up and god was like oh no bitch you need to pray real quick because you really fuck with my child so some of you guys you like i said not everybody here is the one that's repenting like it's half and half some of y'all y'all know y'all been doing wrong and y'all need to repent and pray for what y'all did to somebody or how y'all been treating somebody but other of you i'm getting like um somebody did this actually to you um and they're viewing you as they need to pray they need to um shit repent here okay i'm also getting yeah some of you guys they could have did something to you sexually they could have um why am i hearing rape okay what the fuck but um no i'm getting like they could have gossiped about your sex life here Yeah, and you guys just need to clear the negative energy from your space. Sage, uh, clear the negative energy from your mind here. Because if these people are gossiping about you, yeah. If they were saying, like, fucked up things, trying to change your character or make people view you in a way, yeah, they better pray. And as of you, like I said, um, just clear your energy. If this is you, you need to clear the way that you think, um, clear the way that you... Not, I'm not going to say clear the way that you are, but if you gossipy, gossipy bitches are witches that don't know their power. However, everybody who guard isn't down and um, that shit will backfire if you fucking with the wrong one. All right. So hit the like and subscribe button. If you guys like my pick a card readings, like, like, like. All right. Love y'all. Thank y'all. Bye. All right, pile three. So how are people viewing you? Now, pile three, I do see people are viewing you as somewhat codependent, okay? Uh, you may not like to be alone. You may call somebody a lot here, or you may call a lot of people here. But I'm seeing people view you as codependent. They view you as you don't like to be alone. Or these people are codependent, and they want to be in your business. So it's two ways as well. I should have did just six piles for real, because the last pile, it was split. And it was like, people are viewing you this way because they did this to you, or... People are viewing this you this way because you did this to them. And I'm getting the same energy, okay? So some people are viewing you as the codependent one. And some people are viewing you as they need to be codependent on you. They don't like to be alone. It's something about your energy, okay? Now, I'm getting, like I said, some people are viewing you as codependent. And you like to be in a lot of people's business. And you're nosy as hell. Um, and that you yeah you you good at being nosy some of you guys may watch pick a car reading some of you guys may have your own tarot cards others of you people view you as they want to be in your business okay they want to catch up with you so they may attach themselves to you uh they want to catch up with you for some people they want to know how did you do this how did you manifest this for most part i'm seeing that some people view you as you are in spiritual poverty that you cannot manifest right now that um something here i don't know what Cut fire spiritual property. 
Yeah, some people may view you as you're in spiritual poverty here, that you can't manifest, that people are taking a break from you, that they don't fuck with you or something. And others, I'm getting people are viewing you as they're in spiritual poverty here, they can't manifest, you're taking vacations, they can't manifest, they can't manifest the vacations you're manifesting, they can't manifest the home, the wealth, the abundance that you're manifesting. And now um, I'm getting like, these are the people who are obsessing over you, okay? So some people want to be in your business because you're taking vacations, you're taking trips, uh, you're leveling up, you're taking a break away from people. If you, even if you're not taking vacations, you're taking a break away from people. I'm hearing some of you guys are going to go on at least one vacation this year. And even if you just go on one, they're going to be salty as hell. But I'm getting like these people want to be in your business. They're obsessing with you. They want to know like, how did you go on this vacation? How did you do this? Why are you taking a break away from me? These people are extremely uh, cold dependent now if you did go on a vacation it could have been with a lover or another friend or you and a friend went on vacation hell these people don't even have to be close to you they just watching you viewing you okay but i'm getting like the people who are viewing you as you're going on vacations and oh wow they're obsessing with you and they as soon as you wake up they go on your facebook page or whatever the fuck these people are actually in spiritual poverty they cannot manifest they can't manifest the vacations you're manifesting they can't manifest the love that you had and like i said others of you um they're viewing you as they're the ones going on vacations and shit and that you're having a hard time uh, manifesting because you're obsessive okay so take it how it resonates. Some people are viewing you as a spoiled brat here. Um, it, it says just give her what she wants or she'll make your life a living hell. So some people may feel like you need to get whatever it is that you want or they're going to get hell for it. Uh, but some people I'm getting like they view you as going on vacations, taking trips here. So they view you as spoiled. So they feel like, oh, wow, she's getting spoiled by spirit, universe, God. I'm not getting shit. So they feel like they can't manifest. They they want to manifest like you here. Um, they want to know why are you getting blessings? Why are you manifesting uh, when they think that you're dark? Okay, because I'm seeing this was supposed to be a Wednesday Adams, but it got cut off. Okay, so people may view you as very morbid or dark and spoiled here, but at the end of the day, you're still manifesting here. Some people may actually view you as uh, you're gay here or these are gay male talking about you, okay? I'm also getting some people view you as very, um, like you're conceiving, you're pregnant. Some people view you as pregnant. Some of you guys are pregnant, okay? Some people, this is your baby mother talking about you. For some of you, this is your baby father talking about you. Also, a lot of people may be talking about how you're very fertile or something or how you have, a, like, a lot of kids or something. Some people view you really as the Jezebel, for real. Like, some of you guys, like I said, it's half and half. Some people view you as taking trips, um... You getting what you want, being spoiled, but I'm getting like you're spoiling yourself or you're being spoiled by your lover. Um, and other people, they're viewing you as the Jezebel, like you are a sex demon, like you just going on vacation, fucking people, getting whatever you want, being spoiled. If you don't give them what you want, you're going <laughs> to give their life hell or whatever the case. Like this is <laughs> crazy as fuck. Okay, so some people feel like if they don't give you what you want, you will make their life a living hell. It says she uses sex to get what she wants and you have what she wants. So people, some people may view you as you're using your sex to get what you want. And it says just give her what she wants or she'll make your life a living hell. So some people view you as you using your sex to get what you want here. Uh, some people may view you as you're, you're trying to uh, trap somebody or you trap somebody because somebody here is um, wealthy or they have money or they're... Um, I don't know, they'll take care of their kids or something. This is just the way that people are viewing you. Or this is how um, they viewed you in the past. I don't know. But, um, because I'm a gay man. Some people, if you're male, they may view you as a gay male here. Um, they might think you're gay here and that you do things with other males to get what you want. You might, I don't know. All right. Now, some people view you as just otherworldly, different. Like I said, some of you guys really are gay or, or are part of the LGBTQ. It doesn't have to be specifically a gay male. It can be like queer or um, transgender. It can be anything, but people view you as very, very different. Some people view you as just like really otherworldly. Um, maybe you're very different. So if you're a male and you tend to be a little feminine or something, people are not used to that or something um or the people that you're around aren't used to that okay so people also view you as very very intelligent here okay that you you have a lot of uh knowledge from the universe here uh and that you are a very powerful manifester okay um also i'm getting like yeah some people feel like um 
that you're scared to say shit, shit to certain people or certain people are scared to say things to you because you're very mystical, okay? But I ain't that crazy, no, I ain't that patient. Uh, people feel like if you keep fucking around uh, with somebody, you're going to look stupid. Some of you guys are gay male and you could be, could find a gay male. Yeah, I'm getting like you guys may need to uh, spend some time alone if you're gay male. Um, even if you're not a gay male, some of you guys may need to spend some time alone. Some of you guys have detached from a gay male or somebody here who is in the LGBT community, okay? But I'm getting like this person feels like you're going to uh, keep fucking around. You're going to be looking stupid here or that you are now looking stupid, okay? People feel like, yeah, especially if it's the situation with the child here. People feel like um, if you're trying to trap somebody with a child or this is just how they view you for some reason. They feel you as this person is going to leave you or say goodbye to you or it's something about a child. Yeah, people see you being in regret. Like you could have had a baby with somebody that is gay or you could have had a baby with somebody here who is spoiled or they're Jezebel or you're the Jezebel and you trap somebody. I don't know, girl. Y'all don't like this reading. People view you as very intuitive, though. They're very intuitive. Yeah, you're a mystic. People view you as... Um, shit your energy is very powerful so whatever you ask for you're gonna uh manifest it people also may view you as you be traveling here you be going on vacation yeah something here about you traveling you going on vacations or you literally just living at a distance from these people here also yeah people may view you as you traveling for sex here okay <laughs> i went on a vacation recently also people may view you as you smoke a lot of weed you drink a lot here some people may view you as um like you are addicted to some type of drug Okay, confide drugs and alcohol. Yeah, some people may view you as addicted to some type of drug or alcohol, but I'm seeing like you might just smoke or drink here and they're salty. I'm also seeing like you do have a beautiful soul here. So even if these people are thinking this about you, ignore them. Okay, you do have a beautiful soul and you are going to gain a lot of support or people view you as very supportive. So I'm getting two energies. There's one group of people or it could just be one person. It could be literally the person that you were connected to romantically viewing you as, oh, you trapped me. You're Jezebel. You do this. But I'm also getting other people view you as very supportive and that you are a very beautiful soul, okay? Um, that they want to take vacations on you. But I'm also getting like, some of these people are spitting evil eye at you. Like, I don't know. Like, these people around you or they view you, they are, I don't know if this is like one group of people viewing, so you can live one place and then one group of people views you one way and then you can live in another place and then another group of people views you a whole nother way. Or people from your hometown could view you one way and then people on social media could view you another way, okay? But I'm getting like, people are charmed by you, they uh want to support you here, but I'm also getting like... A group of people are, they're charmed by you, they support you, but they're also still spitting evil eye. Clarify evil eye. Yeah, so you guys need to take a spiritual bath because, like, I'm getting, like, some of the people that support you are actually fucked up in the head a little bit, all right? But nonetheless, I feel like some of you guys know this. The spirit is really, really proud of you, okay? So even if you guys were in that energy where you use somebody or you trap somebody for money, or I don't know what it is. You guys got out of that energy or you're getting yourself out of this energy. If you guys were addicted to any type of drug or sex or something like that, uh, Spirit is actually really proud of you. These people are just toxic. Toxic. I'm about to say toxic. These people are just toxic, or they keep t talking about something that happened two, three, four years ago. Okay, um, so don't worry about it too much. Okay, I'm also getting people feel like you're very lonely and that you are spending time alone here. Okay, so. Yeah, it's two energies. Some people feel like you're lonely and that you have no friends. And some people feel like you're very popular and that you have hella friends, okay? So, like I said, it's a specific group of people. It's like literally two different types of groups of people. People that know you in real life, they may feel like, you're doing so well, I love you. And then people who are watching you on social media may feel like, yeah... Spirit don't love you. They're toxic as fuck. They're spitting evil eye at you, okay? Something like that where it's two strong groups of people, okay, that are viewing you in two strong different ways, okay? Clarify toxic motherfuckers. Who is these toxic people? Whoever these toxic people are that are viewing you, it's, it's because you're not keeping it 100 with them. But I'm getting like, if these people are spreading rumors or lies about you, just speak your truth, okay? I'm hearing rumors, lies. Just keep it 100. For some of you, you guys are the ones spreading rumors and lies. And you guys need to just keep it 100. You guys are coming off as toxic. So, yeah, I am getting like, like I said, 
Some some of y'all people are viewing YouTube different ways. For some of y'all, it's just one way. Like they're viewing you as a spoiled brat, blah blah blah. And others of you is just one way. They're viewing you as very beautiful, and people are lying on you or something. But you're getting uh, popular. You're in a, a committed relationship here, and you're gaining success. I'm getting like you guys are in a relationship, and then the people who are just toxic and negative, they're the ones trying to say that you're gonna trap somebody or that you're trapping somebody and that you're gay or that you're spoiled. But I'm getting like you're actually a power couple with somebody here, um, and these people they don't understand you because they're not on the same vibration as you. You, okay and these people are ugly as fuck on the inside so the reason that they're viewing you this way is because they would do this if they view you as i would trap him because he got money or she blah 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 or she's trapping him because he got money or blah 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 or they're stalking your social media this is because this is what they do this is how they think this is what they would do if they see a nigga with money they would want them they will get pregnant with the quickness okay something like that so if they're viewing you negatively this is their qualities all right and if y'all know this some of this shit y'all did um nonetheless uh y'all are good y'all the energy has been changed transmuted spirit is like look not we don't even give a fuck about this shit no more that's old as hell but nonetheless just take it how it resonates this is just how they viewing you fuck them even if it ain't the truth love y'all think y'all mine